Hey guys, Cubing for you here. Today we're going to learn how to solve the last layer of the 2x2. Two two. Let's get right into it. Okay, to begin we're going to need to review our algorithms. Okay, so for this last layer we're going to need to use the second algorithm that I taught you, which is the left side up, top to the left, right side up, top to the right, left side down, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. So yeah, you should probably try and get relatively good at that, I guess. Yeah, and then our second one, which we'll be using, is the four moves, the right side up, top to the left, right side down, and top to the right. Again, Yeah, so if you just keep repeating that, the cube should repeat itself and solve. But, okay, so if you haven't seen part one of this tutorial, I'll try and leave a link in the description down below. So you should probably check that out. In that one, we got the whole first layer. So now in this one, we're going to be solving the rest. So let's mix it up real quick. Here, I'll mix it up here. Okay, so now... What we're going to be looking at is if any of these corners are in the right spot. So we can see this one has blue, orange, and yellow, but it's over the green, orange, and yellow. So that's not in the right spot. This one has red, blue, and yellow, but it's the red, green, and yellow. So that one's not. This one has orange, green, and yellow, but it's the blue, red, and yellow. And this one has red, green, yellow, blue, orange, yellow. So yeah, they're not in the right spots. So what you can do is just move the top layer once, and that should at least solve one of them, or put it in the right spot. So we can look at this one. It has green, orange, yellow. This has orange, blue, and yellow, so it's not. This one isn't because it has red, green and yellow it has orange green and yellow so it's not in the right spot this one needs to go over the green red and yellow but it's blue orange and yellow but this one you can see it's the red blue yellow red blue yellow so that one is in the right spot it doesn't necessarily have to be solved like this one is it could be something like this, where it's in between the orange, green, and yellow. And you can see it has all those, but it's not necessarily solved. I just find this is a little bit easier later on. So if you have a yellow sticker on the top, that could be easier. But what we're going to do starting now is we're going to put the edge or corner that's in the right spot. We're going to put that on the front right, so where I have it right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the second algorithm that I taught you. So it goes left side up, top to the left, right side up, top to the right, left side down, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. So now we check them. Those are solved. Those are solved. Those are solved. And those are solved. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to flip the whole cube over. And so we're just going to start at any unsolved edge. We're not going to start here because that edge is already solved. We're not going to need to mess with it. And so we're going to start here and make sure it's on your right side at the bottom. And then you're just going to repeat the four moves until it goes in. It's not in there. Not in there. Now we can see it's in there. And so now, instead of moving the whole cube to the next unsolved piece, we're going to stay where we're at. And we're only moving the bottom layer with the unsolved edges. And then you're going to move it to another unsolved edge. And keep doing the four moves. Until it's in. And then finally, we're going to go to this last one. Make the four moves a couple of times. And now it's in. We can align the top. So there it is. Uh, in a second, I'll go over some special cases that you might have encountered. So here they are. 
Okay, now for some special cases. Okay, so what you might encounter is uh, if you have uh, two unsolved edges, but then you have two solved edges over here, right there and right there. So all you'll need to do when the two solved are in a line is just move it once so that this one's solved and then the rest will be unsolved. So that's uh, case one. So that's all you'll have to do. But uh, if it ever becomes this right here, where you have a solved edge right here, an unsolved one right here, and a solved edge, and an unsolved edge. So the two that are in the right spot are across from each other. Uh, and if you move it once, none are solved, but if you move it again, then you still have two. Just do the algor algorithm from anywhere, like that. And then uh, you can just align a certain edge, and then that one's the only one that's solved. And then you can just go forward from there. And then it's not solved. You might have to do it multiple times in order for it to get in the right spot. You can see that they're all in the right spot now. And there they are. Those are special cases. Make sure if you enjoyed the video to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.